And we're back. <laughs> you know, th that should also just, things like this let you know that like, just because I have a crappy, albeit crappy computer, I have a really nice uh, uh, mic that was given to me by my lovely cousin. And I have a camera that actually um, you guys bought for me. Um, and I have a ring light that's not even on anymore. So sometimes I don't even, I don't really know even how to work that. But guess what? Like I'm in a bedroom. I, I, I'm not. I'm not some authority on anything, you know, I'm not, uh, anyone can, can be in here. Just remember that. Like, just because you see someone on, on a video doesn't mean that they are something good or bad. It's the totality. It's the pattern. Okay. This is what I was saying earlier. Um, Freckle Joy, Crimezilla, Lakeside Justice, Crime Geek, Rescue All the Dogs, um, who was Mayo. Um, you guys are in my chats consistently. And I see you in, in other creators' chats. I'm there as one of you. I, I, I'm no different just because I have this stuff that I just explained. Um, and I, but what my point is, is that when I'm watching someone, especially live, especially live, because that really gives you a, um, a real clear way to be able to, um, uh, see what that person is about. What is their character about? Uh, what are their flaws? Are they, um, are they so egregious that, you should probably unsubscribe or when, when the mask slips. Um, like I said, with lives, someone can put on a real big, good show, put on a real good show. We see it happen all the time, but eventually that mask is going to slip off and you're going to get a glimpse of who that person really is. And is that someone that you want to follow? Is that someone that, um, because that's the true, um, that's the person. That's the person behind the scenes. That's the person that they truly are. Um, and that should give you a big tell that, that what they do is nothing more than an act. I watch creator after creator get on here and they go, you know, they sound so great. And then all of a sudden, usually they'll see a comment they don't like. And they immediately go into, I'll, I'll, I'll use... Um, myself again, as an example. Um, and, and it wasn't even on a live. It was like a comment that I got. And I was actually just talking to my brother about it last night. Cause we were talking about how, you know, you've won in an argument with someone in an argument, a debate, a, a discussion is when you bring out a truth, a fact, a, a um, somewhat intelligent um, statement and they don't have a good rebuttal. They don't have an educated calm and they immediately go to, this is what I was telling my brother just about this online world that he, he can't stand. But, uh, it's like, yeah, this, like this person, you know, the best thing they could call me was like, you look like a cabbage patch kid, you know? And it is like, it made me laugh because I kind of do. Like I, I was thinking about those cabbage fat kids my mom made me get when I was little that I hated and I was scared of it would turn them around in my closet and was terrified to fall asleep that they were going to jump down and kill me. But it was like, yeah, I kind of do look like a cabbage patch. But what that really told me is that that person is, that's like the, when someone immediately goes, well, they don't like what you say. And they're like, well, you're a, blank blankety blank and you you know you you do you know like greeno yesterday porn star really that's in your title talking about another creator <laughs> i don't give a flying fork if she is or not it's unacceptable behavior and then to make it worse 
well, let's find out. And he takes you on a little video of him going into a bedroom, locking the door. And then I'll, I'll let your imagination take the rest of the disgustingness. Like th that's what I'm talking about. Like those are the moments, you know, you're dealing with someone that has just got really bad motives. Um, and then I have so much to, to say about what's happening um, with the murders of Abigail Williams and Liberty German um, in Delphi, Indiana, February 13th, 2017. It's a case that, uh, now y'all know this, but I've, I've, uh, saw it was the first time that I was ever even introduced to like a face, like a, it was on Facebook, like live, like chat as they're searching for their bodies. Um, the night before I went to bed thinking those silly kids, like I would be so, cause my daughters are, my daughter is the same age as them. And, um, uh, they'll find them, you know, they probably ran off with friends and, you know, no big deal. And then waking up the next day to be like, oh, whoa, this is something different, you know? Um, so yeah, I'm quite forking invested. And, um, there's just the last three weeks of like so much happening. <laughs> And, um, I'm angry. I'm angry about it. It's, uh, and there seems to be this, this divide of pro defense or, or, you know, pro Richard Allen or pro prosecution pro law enforcement. And there's just like these two camps now. Um, and it, and where's the people that, that, that don't care if they're right. I don't, if I'm wrong, like I, fine. It's going to take more than um, what's going on right now to, uh, you know, change my mind. And you just see people this wishy-washy, like, oh, like one person can talk them into a completely different ideology or, or belief system or, um, you know, like you have to be open to be wrong. And when you just double down, it's kind of disturbing. And, and it lets you know that you really, just the, the example of, of what happened uh, last Monday, or was it a few Mondays ago? I don't know. Time just goes by so fast. A court reporting doesn't have a bias. It doesn't have a spin. It doesn't have anything. But this is what I wrote down because this is what happened. While I personally won't be able to do that um, because of this dyslexia and I can't write on a piece of paper. You can ask people. <laughs> um, but I can listen. And um, when I pay attention with all of my senses to a court proceeding, um, I can remember more. I'll, I'll, I can remember a lot, um, but I won't have notes. So is that even worth like, would I take someone seriously? That's just go going off memory recall without having been able to write some notes down. Do I think Judge Gall is going to make an exception for me to, to record because I'm dyslexic and I can't write? I highly doubt it. So, um, but what I saw was, uh, I was like, you know, oh, I'm, I, what I'm going to, I'd already made this decision before, before even anyone started. I'm going to go to channels. Um, I'm going to go to the channels that I'm not subscribed to the ones that are, that I have previously called free Allen crew. Um, I'm going to go to, uh, the pro defense pro, you know, them, and I'm going to go to like the, all of them. I'm going to go to the pro prosecution. Richard Allen is guilty. And I'm going to watch the ones that were there and that reported. And what became quite, um, obvious was the fact that, no matter where you went, except for Turbo Time did a great job. And I, um, I'm still looking for more. 
and I'm not talking about major media. I'm talking about in our community here on, on, on YouTube. Okay. I wanted to see what, what, what kind of a, what were you going to get? Were you going to get court reporting and, and what you should be there to do? Or are you going to get a spin? And it was just spins everywhere. And um, so my advice to you is to watch all the channels that went like any, anyone that actually went and, and sat in on that particular hearing. Um, and then watch the other one and then find the thing, find what's common, find the commonalities in what um, the creator that, that went there, you know, the, the person with the camera and everything like I have, like, like go and watch all of them. And when you can find the commonalities in what um, they talk about without the bias, then that's probably what happened in court. Um, And I'm, I'm just so disturbed by the, it doesn't matter if he's guilty. It doesn't matter if he's innocent. Yes, it freaking does. Yes, it does matter. And you know what else matters is the fact that like, the way people are acting is just so, so can just so disheartening just like oh gosh you know like this this is it's like carly simon song like you're so vain you probably think this life is about you and if you probably think it is it probably is I don't care if I dislike you or we don't get along. Or we don't see eye to eye. Um, what people are doing and they think they're justified because, well, they did it to me so I could do it to them. And the people that, that aren't, aren't, aren't able to take their own inventory and make sure that their heart is in the right place. Um, that becomes pr pretty obvious because it becomes an agenda. And, um, a narrative. Hey, Ruckus. Hey, Johnny. Hey, Charlotte. Hey, Rescue. Yeah, I rescue all the dogs. I think she did an she did an amazing job and like what a note taker. So um, I did I did send her a message because I think we would kind of make a good team. Um, not that she has to like work with me or anything like on the live or anything, but just like my ability to if I don't try to write because if I try to write, then I'm um, I'm dividing my my brain up too much and I won't remember, but if I, I listen, I can, someone has a note. I, I mean, I can fill in the rest. Um, but I think notes are important when you're uh, court reporting, you know, and like, not that I'm a court reporter or, or any of you guys are it's like, that. that's a, that's a degree. That's a, that's a college degree. I think a Dave Banger who I kind of got to know a little bit. Um, he's retired now and he has a blog. That's awesome. But like he knows how to do it. I mean, those are, um, you know, that's what's supposed to happen. But this, everybody and their brother writing in to like get on in the court, like it's, I have so much to say and I don't have enough time right now to really like dig it apart. I wish. Oh, I'm so out of myself. I still have the outline and I've been filling it in um with um the state of indiana versus uh richard m allen of just doing uh the court documents only and just reading them um my, and i talked myself out of it because it's like people don't want to want like that's boring i'm ashamed of myself that i talked myself out of it because that's boring i don't really care like that's what's needed is just like, let's just go through them. And now there's just so many, like it'll, it'll take me another year to probably end up with the time to read them all, you know, because that's where like people are, they're reading the backs and forths. And I think that unfortunately what I see is two, two sides creating a, 
public record. Because they know this isn't. This is not looking good, you know. Um, you've already had the uh, the appeals court be involved in a case that hasn't even been adjudicated. Like it hasn't even gone through the adjudication process. Like here's your sign, you know. So you see all of uh, all of these filings, and it's like, um, why? Why, why didn't McLeland decide to go forward with that? On its surface, it looks like um, he wanted to, everybody's like, he wants to delay, delay the trial. M maybe. I don't, I don't fork and know. Um, but maybe he's wanting to create a record of his own based on what we've all been talking about. Um, and we're going to start where I'm going to, um, I've got to get, I have these, a look, a look back. Uh, I took it down because I have to be somewhere. Um, and I knew I wasn't going to get a chance to actually do that episode, but I have at least one or two more episodes of that and I'm going to do it. And it's pretty sad that it's so it's I haven't done it I haven't finished it you know but um those cases are important to me they're the ones that actually really do matter and where awareness is really needed you know all the cases that I've covered on this channel to date and that brings me to art of deduction I am, I am ashamed that I ever did an episode with him. Let me be your, like, if you're a creator out there, don't just jump on anyone. Don't just join anyone. Don't just like trust anyone. Don't just like, don't like research them. Like look, look at their path. Like what, what is their, what is the overall snapshot that you can get from looking at their first video compared to what they're making now, what their community posts say, um, and like do a little research, be, take it from me. Um, I am so ashamed that I ever, ha I was ever on a screen with that man. And to boot, we covered Rosemary. which uh, Frank was the one that found the criminal history of her likely killer. And it's a pattern. I don't think people, in the, and I don't really think that people, it can't, they can't be, they can't, they can't actually uh, read books and um, um, go to the library and, and go like, go through newspapers and read Justia and case text and watch true crime documentaries uh, because it's just like <laughs> unbelievable to me that you like that you, that people don't see um, all of the other cases where, yeah, you think, you know, oh, well, he doesn't like with Richard Allen. I've seen no evidence and surely I hope to not. That's not my place. I've seen nothing that convinces me that he is innocent. Nothing. He, I've seen nothing that says to me that he is guilty beyond reasonable doubt. Understand what that means if you're going to be here. Um, and it's not my place. It's just it's so disturbing. Um, but guess what? I do believe in the constitution and I do believe in the rights of the people. Um, even when they're accused of the most heinous of crimes, there is a process and it should be due and it should be fair. And when it's not, it should really make you angry.
What if it doesn't even end up mattering? Whether he's, if he's guilty, let's just say he's guilty. And that doesn't matter because of the way that the defense, what they did, you know, I, I, I got them up. They're still there. The ABA, you know, like you read it for yourself. But guess what? The Supreme Court ruled on that. Done. Doesn't matter what I think. I think that McLeland went forward with that with that hearing um, to try to get it on the record for an appellate court yet again. Um, but when you put as a family member, if I put my faith and my trust in the in the patties and, and the Williams and the Erskins, they definitely have. They've been the model victims' family. They have supported them. They have lifted them up. They have um, taken so much freaking abuse. from people um well we can't we can't clear anybody hmm wonder why now <laughs> human error is is when you when you put a human in in anything uh whether i don't care what kind of a job it is there's there's going to be errors but when they are so grossly like when you find like multiple instance, instances of incompetence and what i see is a case that is being tried by media regardless of guilt or innocence and that's not fair for anyone and that's not justice that's not what the families want for their child. They don't want some piece of shit sending them crime scene photos. Are you kidding me? I, I literally can't. And he has a pattern. Old art of deduction has a pattern. Oh, he wants to claim he, he's in it for the right reasons. Psh, shit. Are you kidding me? He gets mad. It, he got all bent out of shape because um, Frank Meister was there. And um, I think it was Ruckus and Kristen were on his channel. And he got he literally got mad because he made um, money that day. And he said out loud, that's like, and I've, I've done more. I've done more than he has. And I don't get paid. And I'm actually living paycheck to paycheck. Blah, blah, blah. What is his motive? Is it not clear? I didn't see whatever freaking crime night did. That guy, he's in just a whole nother story. Um, but apparently he showed a, a, a portion of the crime scene photo, which is just deplorable. It's absolutely deplorable. Um, but in retaliation, in wanting to be the first, in wanting to show somebody up to be more important, he sends the crime scene photos to the family. Put yourself in that shit. What if that was your child? And some dick bag on YouTube sends them to you. And I don't, I, I, oh, if I hear one, well, they're going to see them anyway. <laughs> you don't have a clue and you should shut your fucking mouth. Yeah, unfortunately. They will. Maybe they already have. That's not the point. They should be given the dignity and respect to be able to, to gather, the be in the right mindset to see what they're about to see at a trial or to be given those by, I want to say like, 
an, an investigator's name that I think, and you know, I can't even think of any right now. I'm so disappointed in them. That's like besides the point. Should be able to be like, I have time to center themselves and, and to like, you know, be ready for that because it's freaking terrible. And I know Miss Becky had even said, I'm sorry, because all I can do is, is see my kid laying there in those woods, naked, and her body desecrated. And if you lack the ability to do that, there's something fucking wrong with you. I can detach and I can look at crime scene photos and not and be able to have that in that moment. But if, but when you engage your entire being, not just your brain, but your soul. And you imagine your child laying there. Don't say stupid ass shit. They're going to see it anyway. I'm going to be the one to send it to him. I'm doing the right thing by sending it to him. No, you're not. You're a selfish asshole. Fucking true crime design in this watercolor. Fuck you. Our, our deduction into his oil painting that was like, good God. <laughs> I hope you guys didn't see it. And then so bad wants to wants to be the one that that solves it or figures something out. Takes the filter, weak ass filter, off to show her area because he thinks he's found a ligature and a bruise. Are you kidding? On YouTube? Good God. Good God. I don't think I want to be here anymore. <laughs> I'm not like in this world. I mean, in this like genre, like it's just so disturbing. <laughs> it's uh, it's a tough place to be, especially when you take it a moment to empathize with no one wants to be in their shoes. Nobody wants to be a part of that club. Nobody wants to have to go to events and press conferences and, and fight for justice. No one has to want to go to a jury trial and show up at court day in, day out. Nobody wants, they just want their kids back. They can't have them. And, and just the way that, that the public treats them. And I'm pisses me off that now, no, oh, we haven't cleared, you know, we caught, we've had people covered, but we can't clear them. They have not once stood up for that family. Not really. <laughs> and then by what we see in the court dog, it just made it worse. It doesn't matter if it's true. It doesn't matter if it's not. You're giving all of those people even more content. Those succubuses of, of true crime. And they've stood by you steadfastly. Even when you pulled a fast one. Did you not? Like, do you, did, do you, do you remember um, the first sketch? And that the patties like, literally printed those off with their own money. Don't even say a fucking word about that park. I swear to God. Mm. 
They want their children to be remembered for the good that they brought the world in the very short amount of time that they were here. Meanwhile, you're you're getting money from your your YouTube. You're monetized. You're getting you know you're getting your super chats. I don't have a pre freaking problem with that. It helps me out a lot. It helps me to be able to do this. But how dare you? It's sick. I don't want to be in part of some. You got, you know, free Allen crew and, uh, and you got the, the, he's guilty, the, he's innocent. Screw all of you. We don't know. And if you're not willing to admit that you could be, you could possibly be wrong and you're just out trying to confirm your own bias, you're, you're already wrong going around and making yourself out to be like, you're some, you know, highly intelligent. You've got this figured out, look down on everyone, you know, and then, and then you see these same people like reverting to, they can't even come up, like they can't even say anything in a, in a debate, in an actual discussion, you know, they just immediately go into like, well, you look like a cabbage patch. <laughs> like, I won, just letting you know I won. Um, because whatever I said to you in a debate, in a discussion, um, you had nothing better to say than to degrade the way I look, to be a misogynist pig. Like, if that's your go-to is to um, attack the way someone looks, like, you got something wrong with you. You need to, you know do something about that because you really can't engage with the world unless you understand yourself. Like you just really can't. I don't care how smart you are. It doesn't matter. How effective are you? How are you applying that? Hey, Gonzo. Uh, Miranda, I wish. People will show you who they are, though. You know? Um, and... I think I, I, I am not, um, like I said, I, I don't want to be in any camp. I like people on both sides. I think they're great people, um, amazing people that I value and I cherish and I respect because we disagree. Doesn't, you know, um, but there has to be a line somewhere, people, you know, like you're not right. You're not justified in like even Rick Snay. You all know I don't like him. I wouldn't give him the time of day in any kind of form of my life. He is a. He, he, he hasn't evolved into anything if for for a grown man to be like when i go to work tonight um i've told the other bouncers you know i want to beat people up you know like if, if there's someone in there getting out of hand i want them i want at them that's the kind of person we're dealing with here like this is the same stuff with Greedo. Just like they're 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 not evolved past anything deeper. They're the same people that like go in and, and, and they want to, you know, say degrading things or, or or just immediately, you know, come like just read some of his community comments. Like he he can't help himself. He just attack, attack, attack. 
he thinks he's vindicated. He thinks he's right. He thinks his actions were, were somehow right because of what Noe did. Noe was completely wrong. Rick Snay was completely wrong. But you know what? All you people that are up on your high horse and you think you're righteous because for for stalking and going and, and anything against Rick Snake's wife? Are you kidding me? That's terrible. You're terrible for doing that. She does not deserve it. And you don't have any right to do that because he did something to you. This whole, well, he, they did it to me first, so I'm going to do it to them. <laughs> no. That's not how this works. It's not how, like, being a grown-up works. You're not justified. You're not righteous. You're not anything because now you deduced yourself to that level. You're not leveled up. Whenever you act like that, you are at the same level. And we have to be able to take our own inventory too. Why am I doing what I do? Why? What? Why? You know? Um, but I'll tell you what, if you come in to this world and you give a flying fork, what anyone thinks about you and you allow anyone online to make you question yourself your integrity, your, your, um, person, like your character, you shouldn't be here. You really shouldn't be here. This is not safe for you. Um, I get comments all the time and I have from the very beginning, it, I don't care. I'm going to do what I feel is the right thing to do. And, um, I'm also going to, I'm going to judge myself more than any old comment some person I don't know ever would. Because when I lay my head down at night, I'm the only one that has to go to sleep with what I have done, what I have contributed in this life. I'm the only one. I created this channel to bring awareness to cases that get no coverage and to try to be like, try to, you know, expose this, this deplorable, ever growing mass of just gangrene in, in the true crime community and genre that I, I actually do love. Just consider for a second that you may be wrong. At least sit down and mull it over for a good 10, 20 minutes. Take your own inventory. Why am I doing what I'm doing? Am I doing what I'm doing because I want to fit in? Because I want to be a part of this group or that group or whatnot? You know? Am I doing this because... I hate injustice, which is fine. I do too. Um, don't 
don't send crime scene photos to family. Don't, don't. Talk about. I, I don't know her name. I have been watching The Unraveling um, because I have wanted to gather as much perspective because per perspective and perception and like gathering. Not that you're swayed by that. You get like, that's the thing with art of deduction, man. Somebody, someone from, um, I can't remember her name, um, but she came, I mean, she was able just to talk him right out of what he thought he believed. That's what tells you that's someone that doesn't have a strong foundation in anything. When someone can be swayed by words so quickly, take things under consideration and think about them then yourself and then come to your own conclusion based on what you have at, uh, to, but not just like go with the freaking wind. I mean, that's a, a good sign to tell you that someone is this not like worth your time, you know, not worth your time. So, um, hey, 50, hey, Cindy, um, what can we do, you know, like what can, Like, I, I, I'm sorry. I, just, I can't get it out of my head. I'm just like yesterday. Like, it started out with like, I got like, hey, this is happening on this channel. Or of course, it's freaking green now. I go to the timestamp and I look at his title. I'm just like, my God. What? What if? What? So, okay. What if it's true? Have you watched what he's done to those two women? I don't care if you agree with what they say or to, to literally write in to the court. Well, she called you a raggedy bitch, judge. You know what? I could literally walk up to the judge as long as it's not in her court room. That's different. <laughs> I could walk up to her somewhere and I could call her a raggedy bitch to her face and nothing would happen to me. Like, that's a person that doesn't understand like anything like it's ridiculous. And so, but he's also been, um, well, if you come on my channel and he, he makes sexual, you know, connotations and innuendos towards those two girls and they're beautiful. Um, it's so forking inappropriate. Like, and then, you know, his favorite of like, Oh, well, it's because I dated her. You know, I turned her down. I rebuffed her. He's done that to me. Like, you misogynist pig. I would ne never have anything to do with you. Like, I might turn a water hose on if you were thirsty and starving. Maybe. <laughs> like, you should be you know exactly where you should be. And one day you probably will. You said it yourself. You know, there's the pattern. That's what I try to point out. Maybe some preemptive justice. But back to um, the two ladies from Unraveling. The way that he has just treated them and his chat just goes right along with it. Like it's not a thing. Like it ain't, it isn't a big deal. I'm not a feminist. I'm not, it's disgusting. Ooh, I'd like to see what, you know, like, yeah, yeah. You know, and then to, to literally make a video, put that in your title and then make a video where, where you're going in a room and locking the door and like got freaking lo lo like, do I need to say more? Oh, but you're here for Abby and Libby. Okay. Okay. Fucking now.
No, you're not. You're just just this like disgusting pervert. <laughs> I, I don't don't understand. I don't understand. And I'll tell you what. I've never been in the not or what not. Like I don't have I mean, why am I talking in like some kind of British accent right now? I'm like the not just makes me want to say it like that. The not, <laughs> but I can't. So um but I believed, I think his name is Paul, when he said, and I believe other people that have said those were never in there. The crime scene photos were never in their Discord, never on Reddit. I believe them because it's been more than just one person and it's Fork and Greeno is the one that's saying that that's where he found. Oh, okay. Do you all remember that Greeno was the one that said he was a part of the original leak? You know, it's a lie now. Where was his name mentioned? Oh, except for when he wrote to the judge about her being, oh, she called you a raggedy bitch. Like, what are you doing? You're like, you have no business writing to the court. You you habitual felon. Violent. Like, just lying the other day. And the lady, and they just bought a hook, line, and sinker. Oh, oh, I thought, um... I think it was on with a sleuthy goosey, which I was really kind of, I've been pissed at the way people treat her too. Do, do I agree with her? No, not all the time, but to give you, give you, you a right to treat people like that, to, to be, to act like that. Like he said some gross stuff about her too, you know, but like he's on there. He's tell. I think I'm pretty sure it was sleuthy goosey. He was like trying to tell her that, He's taken pro bono to a jury trial. <laughs> it's Martinsville hospital case. He was facing 30 years and, and there was this, uh, you know, there was some corruption in this. Well, guess what? You know what his name is? His name is Mark Bailey. Okay. And he is like not even in the same. He's not on the arrest warrant affidavit for Greeno, any of his cases. How do I know that? Because I got them from the court. So he's lying. He served his sentence. That's it. He finished out his sentence for literally threatening to kill multiple people <laughs> from, from the cops to EMTs to the hospital staff to the nurse's aide. Oh, but he cut that audio out when he did that spin doctor move. Unbelievable. Like, and people just like think it because he's smooth, because he's got that superficial charm. People just believe him. He think, you know, he literally thinks that he's like, when he said it, when I speak, people listen, they trust me. But I'll tell you what, with what old little Frank, him brightening into the court too. Like, what are you doing? What do you think you're proving? Oh, back to my point. I guarantee you, and I hope someone lets the judge that literally have no idea why she's allowing. Do you know how many letters judges get? Usually they get stopped by their clerk. They don't ever make it to the judge. So just know that. Why is she letting these things? these mother efforts in like why is she putting them i mean i would be i still don't understand why a contempt was even under richard allen's cause i don't i don't I, like why i want someone that is actually has an like a degree and authority that's in indiana to explain that to me like why was that like why was that under him like uh, under his, like, can you imagine? I'm just imagining, like, I commit, I, I'm on, I'm on trial for murder, and my lawyer gets a DUI, and then they charge him with a DUI, like under my cause number. <laughs> like, I know I'm not. I know it's because I don't understand it. I'm fine with admitting that. I don't know, but I, I really want to know. <laughs> like, why was this? Why was that not filed separately? 
I don't understand that. Is it civil? Is it criminal? Like, like, does anybody know like what's happening? And then you're hearing like all the stuff that was like going on. You're like, did any of you guys do a good job? Like, I don't think a single one of them did a good job investigating that. Like laying it out. Like if you're going to have this big hearing and waste of a whole fucking damn day, like there should be some things that are like proven. <laughs> like, but somehow like she allowed like Greedo and his exhibits along with, with freaking art of deduction to be a part of like the court record. What is going on? What is going on? This is not a movie, you know, like this is real life. Like, ugh. but listen, if they, if he put screenshots of the crime scene photos, which it looks like from the docket, he he did. And he's saying that he found them in Reddit or the not after he deleted him because of, he was a part of the first email. Uh, well, no, he wasn't. That was a lie. Everybody just let him slide right by on that. Um, but I guarantee you that he's faked those. Go ask Cheyenne. <laughs> Go ask Grind Geek. <laughs> ask me. He's done it to me. He falsifies and fakes screenshots, court documents, which is the federal crime, by the way. He fought like that whole video he made about the um, uh, Oklahoma, <laughs> where he, the, the two two bounty hunters like were caught and and charged and like for um, trying to have him killed. None of it was true. He falsified those court documents. Like, I showed it. There's a video I have, like, where I showed you. Like, no one tried. He was not these two people. He was actually the defendant. Like, he was the one that they were seeking a protective order in. He has nothing to do with Dog the Bounty Hunter or his wife. Like, absolutely nothing because he was claiming that, too. Like, no. This is not how any of that went down. But he made it look like it. Because that's what he does. So when I heard, I think it was Bob Mata, which I think Bob Mata did a really good job of, here's how I feel about what I've seen with him. I like them. Defense, I like defense diaries from being in the podcast world. So it's kind of where I started out. And like, I thought they were just super cool. And um, the, the John Wayne Gacy, it's not what you think. You should go watch it. You should go listen to it. Not watch it. Listen to it. And it's not what you think, you know? Like, it is, well, it is really good. But that, I I started, like, that was before I was ever, on, even on YouTube with the Defense Diaries. And, like, I think his wife is a badass. I think Bob is really cool dude. And um, what I, but here, here's the one thing where what I saw was he was doing his normal Bob, Bob Mata and Alex, you know, the things that I, I, because I listen, you know, um, like that's just who he is. And then he went, he started going to the, the, the court hearings and then you could tell like after, I can't remember which one it was, but it was a while back. Um, and he even said, like, I talked to Andy and like, you know, and then it seemed like he was kind of just kind of like jumping full in, which he has every right, you know, like, and then the prosecutor's podcast. And I think it's super interesting when they talk because it's what they do, you know, and like to, but I felt like he was just going all the way in other side and, and not being kind of like unbiased with a bias and I think that then as I uh, then I, this was how I felt then not that time now I think he was just super 
um, passionate about injustice. And regardless of what you think and how you feel, everybody should be really angry right now. Being right at the right persons. They work for the public. You're held to a higher standard. And then um, I watched... Bob, after the um, uh, the Monday, and I thought well, I was like, "Wow, like he did a really good job," you know. And there was people in the chat that were like, you know, trying to get him to do do digs and, and, and like, you know, go go full on, you know. It's like there's there's the there's like this chasm of like the North Pole and the South Pole, and anyone that tries to like, you know. See it both ways or just like, oh, you're an idiot. You're stupid. Like you're, you know, and if that's all they have to say to you, then you, you probably are. You probably aren't <laughs> just saying someone calls you stupid or like, I'm smarter than you. And I'm just not like, well, then they're probably not. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Smart people don't have to tell other people that they're smart. They just don't, you know. Um, but uh, I think that like he did a really good job. Like, no, no, even, even was giving him some pushback you know I was like he's like no nah, I really felt like I felt like the judge was kind of fair I mean that's just like what was going on and then you know per, like a really cute example of like that, that's marriage you know you're like hmm to challenge that and then Kip back. she's like oh yeah okay that makes sense you know like for people to attack them for their personal lives for Greeno you know to do that and just like <laughs> dude come on people Come on, but I thought he did a really good job, and I respect that, and I and I appreciate that. I think criminality. She's kind of she's newer to me anyway, um, newer on the scene with Delphi because there's a lot of us that have been around a long time. Like I've been around way longer. I've been in the Facebook groups from the very beginning. So um, there's not like like a lot of new people coming in, and um, that's fine. That's great. But check yourself, you know, before you wreck yourself. But um, you should want that. You should want that in someone that you're listening to, to be able to um, not have a bias and not have an agenda and not have, you know, and people um, asking me how I feel about... you know, the case in general and like, I don't know yet. I don't know. I'm disappointed. And that brings me back to what I was talking about a while ago and where I want to end. And then I'm going to look at the chat a little bit. Hi, Baba. <laughs> I right, so now I want to sing that song. <laughs> Black sheep. Hey, True Sleuth. Hey, Sin City. Yeah. Yeah, he did. He said the. Oh, did they really, Cindy? Send me that time span stamp if you, if you have it. Hey, Johnny. I'm so much fun over at on Johnny's with uh, ATS News and uh, Mel Mac and Debbie. Um, so much fun, and um, he makes me smile. He makes me laugh, and um, The sketch thing where they the patties and mostly the patties and then the families have you know i mean they 
they had printed out, you know, probably tens of thousands of those, those flyers. People were mailing them for them, you know, putting their time and money in it and don't even, don't even say a word. Don't even do it. Um, and then can you imagine what it was like for them to like the 2019 presser when they just put it out like a sack of flyers to try to put out to like, you know, find this guy like surely, you know, that that's the thing that's drawn people into this case um, and made it just be like, this guy should have been caught like day one. Well, um, you got a, the, the, the victim took a video. Look at this. She got this killer, this man approaching them. Like she got him on a video with his voice on it. Those are the things that grab national attention. And then the fact that like not a lot of people remember at first, it got a lot of traction because it was what they were calling it the Snapchat murders. Um, that was like in the very beginning, there were some articles by news media that were titled that and they're probably gone now. Things seem to get scrubbed around this place. Um, but, um, <laughs> they go to the 29th even they, and I don't care what they for could say, Doug Carter, to like get the hell out of here. Well, you can't combine the two. Yeah, maybe. But, but they had flyers printed with the first sketch. That you guys were so confident in. <laughs> and then you go and pull a fast one. I know what it's called. It's called reframing. Like in an investigation, it's called reframing. But it's like, here they are, you know. They're like, well, okay, we got to throw all of these away now. We're going to put this new, new young, curly-haired sketch on there. Sketches are the worst. I don't know why. Like, no one, no one in the public should have those. Like, seriously, I don't understand why that is still a thing. You know what? It should be a thing. It's like have a sketch. And then like when you know there's a witness that was there, be like, does this, you know, like have be able to like show them like just know what they sketched. Keep it for yourselves. And then when you have a suspect, put them in a lineup or something. And don't make it obvious. I hate that when I see a lineup where you're just like, are you kidding me? Oh my God. But no, didn't complain. Just printed off new ones, started over. All the meanwhile, being completely abused by the public, being called, you know, they're the murderers. They did it. Kelsey's a liar. Blah, blah, blah. And you see what happened, was it last week or the week before <laughs> with the with the uh, motion from, um, was that one from Hennessy or I think it was from Baldwin, you know, and you're just like, now it does appear, you know, so there's that. Also, look at that. Well, it, it's not as bad, if that even helps. It's not as bad as it was the week before. Because now we've got McLeland saying, oh, no, like they have the the there was two major things that really just pissed that, that really irritated and, and, and unnerved me. Um, was the. The. Uh, <laughs> now, now we found it 70 days like. But then to like. To not have like have what? Like, how, how, how did you how did you find the people? Okay, say so, say so you're gonna interview um Joe Smo and you got his phone number, his address, and you're like, Yeah, we we you know, and and you and you got all that information, and then you're like you found him for for some some reason, you know. You you so you put together some data on a piece of computer somewhere, you know, to gather information about this somebody we want to interview. We want to bring him in here, put him in an interrogation room, and interview them. And you have like 
and then a lot of it, like you lose the interview, then you come out and say like, well, like we don't even know, like the professor. Oh, what? <laughs> it's incompetence. At this point, I'm not convinced that it is um, more than incompetence, but that is a uh, weaker by the day and it pisses me off and it should piss you off too. Because a mistrial or a not guilty based on technicalities of the system, of the process, we should all be angry about the potential of that happening. We should all be really angry about that. And I commented in a group of someone, you know, um, basically just kind of accusing her of like, just automatically assuming, you know, she's like, no, I want the right person. The person that did it. <laughs> To be held accountable in a court of law. That's justice. Not just any old person. And I personally don't. I think it's. Okay, here you go. If you if you are so convinced that Richard Allen is innocent in your heart of hearts, I understand that passion. An innocent man. What would you, what would you say to Miss Becky or Mike or, or Anna, Carrie, Carrie's kids, Derek, Kelsey, like, what would you say if they were standing in your living room? If he's innocent, then he should sue the living hell out of anybody and everybody that he can after not now so to hashtag free Allen based on what Reread everything. I challenge you to reread everything that the defense has put forth in, in the court documents. Reread that and, and and don't don't look for look for what they don't say. It's very important. Look for what they don't say. And for the other camp, I hate these freaking de de divisive like camps based on, you know, especially a case like this, like there's enough sick people that have inserted themselves in this case. Um, I saw Ruckus commenting, um, it was a, I'd never even, I typed in, um live on youtube last night it was a, a channel I, I i had never i don't even think i've ever i don't know i don't um yeah don't skip the footnotes excellent point sidebar <laughs> excellent point um cj 
something, something, but his, the guy's name is CJ. And um, I forgot what my point was about what Ruckus's comment. Oh, he, he said, I bet we agree on more than you're assuming that we don't. And I kind of feel that same same way. Um, and why are so many afraid to talk about that? Like, why aren't we having like crossovers? I joined Gray Pill Podcast. That dude is, a, we should hire him. I will hire him to come on because if uh, he invites me on and um, he has these panels of the dis divisive topics and we just dis like discuss them. He does them every Tuesday and I've been on there a few times and I watch and sometimes I watch the replay and like this dude knows how to handle a panel of guests brilliantly and to have like a panel of guests that are clearly, you know, say just on politics from, from left to right. But everybody that's on there are adults and they give each other the space to have an opinion and to listen. You know, how many times I can, I can tell immediately when someone's not listening because you could think there are, and I have ADHD. So it's like, Oh, there's that. So that kind of, I can kind of, I feel for people that have that too. Uh, but they they just, uh, they don't even listen. They don't even listen to another that's the, a point of view, you know, if we had gray pill podcasts, like hosts, we ho if we hosted like, you know, the ladies, not chicks, not, weren't like I can't even believe that it was so sick um of the unraveling and and the gentleman that's on there and like who's your cold cases I love that dude I love his heart do I agree with him all the time no I sure don't are we able to talk through stuff yeah quite a lot of the time someone that's been there for me him and chaotic and, and Ivy and, and crime and, and, and like, um, brighter dies, you know, captain, the solid human. Do all of us always agree? No, but we can like, that's okay. You know, like, do I agree with like what they do all the time? No. Do they agree with what I do? No. Um, but we still respect each other. I'm like, so who's your, I, I'd hop on there. Uh, sleuth, you know, um, the prosecutor's fought whomever, you know, and I think if it was held in a way that was like, I think it, what Ruckus said is what we're going to find. But when you come in at a heightened state of emotion and you have, this righteousness, whether justified or unjustified, and you come in without, with the in, without the ability to listen, and because I think what we would find is that a lot of us, we we we're not that far off. It's the approach. It's the approach. You know, and. Well, this was one I saw. It was like kind of like a, some kind of a slam of, of people that are pro prosecution. Like you're you're biased. Yeah, I am. I am. I, I am pro prosecution. I'm pro law enforcement, which also means. That they are held to a standard that is a that is 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 higher. They're held to a higher standard, and I know they're humans. <laughs> and when you have humans, um, you're gonna have errors. Um,
just the just the flippancy alone of you know same same issue I had with Rosie. Who cares? They're gonna see him anyway. Talk about the crime scene photos that, that learned out later he didn't even see. So kind of give him a little grace on that. But like, who cares, Judge? It's not that big of a deal. Yeah, it's a big forking deal, asshole. And then you have the other, it's not that big of a deal. Like they just the flippancy at which they were just like, yeah, we lost 70 days. Yeah. Like the Turk of the Turco thing. Like, yeah, we might not found that. Like, nah, you know, just this blase. Like, no. Man, I'll tell you what, they better come. They better freaking bring their A game because at this point. It's disappointing, you know, but I also come from a place of you don't know what you don't know. That's what ignorance is. So I'm a little bit ignorant as to is this a common thing? I know with computers and technology and, and, and like mistakes are made. Um, but don't be flipping about it. Just, uh, stand for, 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 for what you value, stand on your morals, stand on your own. I'm so specia, yo, you know, I have that tattooed on me while I regret being tattooed. I don't regret um, the words stand or fall. You know, you got to know where you stand or you'll fall for anything, but you cannot be confident in what you stand upon in, in, in any, in any aspect of life, in my opinion, until you have eagerly absorbed all of the information on any given topic, whether it be religion. I never understood as a kid of like, why it was so bad to read the Quran or the Torah or um, learn about um, Pentecostals or, you know, like, just even inside of Christianity of like, Catholic, like, why is that? Why is that? So why do they not want me to do that? Why does my church that I go to not want me to do that? Why is that such a sin? Like, why is that so terrible? You can't be sure of anything. You'll fall. You'll, you'll be able to just fall for anything willy nilly. If you don't know why you stand on why you stand on, and in order to know that you stand on, you got to test it. it. Has to be tested. And that's how you know your faith is sure. Why you believe in what you believe is because you you you've been able to take all of this information in, assess it, categorize it. And, and come to a conclusion that is your own with the best of your ability, with the information that is sourced that you can. And admit when you're wrong. You know? I don't know. Stand up against... People like Art of Deduction, who for no reason but his own <laughs> depravity, got on a live and showed people 
the crime scene photos. If you're a member there, mm, Teresa, who have seen other places in his live chat, it's okay, guys, because he's put an oil, it's, it's an oil like painting filter. What? I hope you got caught up in the moment, Teresa, and a few of the other ones that were in there. Not criminality, by the way. I think she's great. I think she's like, she's in, in, um, a grizzly, grizzly true crime. I think, you know, like I, you're never going to see me. I'm, I'm never going to have, I'm never going to share a link with you to the, um, raise money for Richard Allen. You know, there I get, I, I get all, I mean, this is, this is a case that hasn't even been adjudicated yet, but like what that CJ guy was talking about last night. Yeah, that did happen. I watched that Kyle Rittenhouse, the entire long ass trial that should should have never been. It was political. Um, but yeah, I mean, the, the people raised a shit ton of money for that kid. And I believe rightfully so. Um, why do I believe rightfully so? Because he was able to lay out actual evidence, like actual, not some not some some YouTubers exhibits. Oh, that reminds me. Oh, freaking McLeland, are you kidding me? Oh, I didn't, didn't know what an ex parte was. It was in the heading. Should have closed it immediately. Everybody should be angry about that. You understand the impact that that can have on this case? His. I. Ignorance. <laughs> that that blows my mind to even think that he would he would know that that's not meant for his eyes, especially after he read a couple lines. Do people not realize how how utterly damaging that can be for a fair trial <laughs> disappointing and to be flippant about it or like uh, uh, i'm talking about him <laughs> pullman fortson You guys know what the read technique is, right? Did I watch watch interrogations? I watch a lot of them. I gotta go. I watch a lot of them, but um, yeah, he was using a little, little read technique, which I think is just completely archaic, and, and it should be replaced. But like, that's what he was using, and um, he should just. And I get it. I want people to when. And, it, and there could be a lesson learned in this, too, because you have to. This is how you handle if you're called in for an interrogation and they want to read you your rights. Like, hey, well, let's just go. We're going to go over this piece of paper real quick. You know, we just we want to. You're not a suspect like you're not. You know, we're just we just uh, you're you're helping us gather information. You know, have a seat, you know, like come in, come to this room. You, you know, it's OK if we record. Well, oh, that's fine. Go ahead. Um, as soon as they pull out that piece of paper and they read, you have the right to remain silent. That's enough, sir. We're going to stop right there. I have the right to remain silent and I am going to invoke that right. I want a lawyer. And this is another thing that I've seen happen in interrogations. Well, because and they're right. They're not they They if you, well, I don't know any. Well, do you have a lawyer you want to call? Well, no. I, I don't, but that's, and then they'll talk him into talking more. Um, well, we don't, we're, no, I, I want to, I want a lawyer. You, you, you have to No, that's not how this works. Like, you know, like you can't, 
you the judge has to find that you're you're um you qualify for having a public defender but here's what you can do this is the mistake that people they keep talking and they'll sign this piece of paper um yeah no don't don't, don't do that as soon as they pull that out you are now this you are your interview has now turned this isn't an information gathering interview anymore this is a, this is a setup and most of the time it's 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 good we want them to do that um because that they can re, like i just watched one with that freaking kid man like he oh, it was a horrible one his poor mom found this man's head he just wanted to kill someone you know and he 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 cut off his head and his hands and he had it in his closet and um the detectives they, they thought, man we should law enforcement needs to, to, to watch these and take a lesson they're like you know they're building rapport with him and and what is what is what what is what more that what that builds right there is like oh this is a person that is stable this is a person that's telling us about their accomplishments their jobs or what so when it comes up in court of, of, of incompetence to stand trial well like look at him in this interview just know from the moment you walk in there like it's on but as soon as they bring out that paper and then when they say, well, we don't, do you have a lawyer that you want to call? And they're like, well, no, but like, well, I want to find one. Here's the next thing out of your mouth. It doesn't matter. It did. I'm not, I would, I would do this completely innocent. Um, then arrest me, arrest me right now, or I'm walking out the door. I've told you. I am invoking my rights to be silent. I have asked you for a lawyer. We move on from here and you say one more word to me without arresting me, which means I am not able to leave anymore and I'm going to go to a jail cell. Unless you are going to do that, I'm walking out right now. And that ends it. You can't say, well, I think I want a lawyer. I don't think I want to talk to you anymore. You know, so there is that loophole. But to watch Holman, a seasoned investigator who just got a promotion. Do that to that man. That's disappointing. Disappointing. But I have to go. I'm going to be back on later because I do want to do the um, um, a look back. Um, so... And then I would like to have, you know, if anyone's interested in having a discussion, not a fight, it's a discussion where respect, regardless of how you feel about someone, if anyone is able to do that and they would like to join in like some kind of like discussion um, about what is going on right now. Um, Send me an email, coldtruthpodcast at gmail.com. Um, I saw this comment. Someone was saying something to Ivy Rose. You leave her the fork alone. That girl has a genius ability to not be offensive or brass, brash, or um, she, but she asks questions. People don't like that. Someone was like, well, as soon as you come in, you just disrupt the whole show. Well, maybe the show needed to be disrupted. You ever think about that? Questions are not a bad thing. And I don't want to live in a world where no one is curious. No one asks questions. No one questions things. No one is willing to look a little deeper, put their pride aside. So... I'm going to table this for now because I really got to go. Um, but uh, we're going to be talking about this more. And uh, I think it's just it's things that, that, that need to be talked about. We need something different. Hey, Cleo. Hey, Sleuth. Thanks for listening. Appreciate you, dude. You know, and like, that's a guy that I feel like people put him in, in this like box, you know, they put him in this place where he doesn't, 
He doesn't deserve to be in that place. Not if you really watch him. Like he's a, he's he's a person that reflects on his own actions and and, and um is willing to admit when he's wrong and, and self you know and introspection and, and like that's a person that, that that you should give a fork and chance. But I have got to go. Chaotic, love you, girl. Um, I will see everybody. Truth or justice, good to see you. Everybody that was here tonight, I'm sorry that I you know. I will be back. Um, thank you for being here.